Hey guys, welcome back to Timbermates. Hey guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, today we are milling. I'm gonna do this first since I got it out. I'll get these bearings first. Just till the grease pops out. got the mill all ready to go. First time this year. This is the ugliest tree ever that we took down uh, in one of our, I think our second video. It's actually quite pretty inside once you get it all squared up. So we're gonna take it through the process of that and then we're gonna start squaring some more timbers and then we can always cut them down to different sizes later. But for now, uh, once they're stacked, ready to go, then we can decide what we wanna do later. So enjoy the process of taking a hideous tree and making it useful. Hope you like it. <laughs> Okay, so the blade's kind of bowing and not not really cutting great. It's pretty dull. We need to change it out. So. Okay, so just tuck it like uh, line it up with the back. Just rough the center actually. The center so oh, I see. Yeah, sort of bigger and better. Than Turn the whole log to square it up. Once this cut's done, this next cut, we're gonna turn it like this. With this cut, now we got if we can get a perfectly square angle, uh, then after that you just turn it. You never have to do it again. It's automatically gonna be perfect. Okay. But just this first one is vital. Yeah. So you can square these up and just make sure you're straight with these. But I just haven't found a lot of success doing that. So we gotta go a little bit more, just a hair. Okay, on this side. In case you guys don't know, stickers are the basically the spacers that you put between uh, the wood to dry, and I'll show you an example. These guys are, are called stickers, so that's what we're going to be making with this big guy today. the logs according to size and make sure each row at least three or four are going to be all roughly the same. <laughs> so We're going to try to pick the logs that are roughly the same size and diameter so we can make equal size timber so each row that we stack is the same otherwise we're going to be up and down and then we can't use the stickers. So each row doesn't have to, or each row doesn't have to be the same but everything on that row should be the same height. Nice.
good blade yeah we had a brand new blade hit this nail here and if you can see look at here before before it hit the blade look how nice that is and now look what happens after it dulled it so bad it just started going up and down yeah, and nice. ripping all this see, see that, that? Wow. there goes the blade that sucks yeah that's too bad Bummer. man beautiful here That's how much was missed by the blade being so messed up. Wow. Crazy. Check out that gorgeous timber. Oh man, that's nice. Nice timber there, eh, mate? Nice timber, mate. Nice timber, right? <laughs> wow, it's gorgeous. That would look good in a log cabin somewhere. This is 
exactly 14 inches by 14. Oh, a little hair, hair left. 14 inches. Ooh, that is odd. I think in our future we will get a concrete slab to have this on that's nice and level. What else we call it a day? It's a day. It's a day. Yeah, I think I'm done. Yeah, me too. Go home, I have some grub. Yep. Brandon's got the stickers all ready to go. We're gonna plop this last timber on. Hey guys, we're pretty tired now. Um, we've got like 48 stickers made up. We got the mill kind of all checked out and ready to go uh, for this year. We got a bunch of the 10 by 10 beams, 14 by 14 beam, and lots more wood to do. So stay tuned. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.